Good day guys, welcome to another video. In today's lesson we do a bit of Euclidean geometry. So the scenario goes as follows. It says in the diagram ADF is a tangent to the circle. So this line here is a tangent to the circle at the point D. And we also told that AB is parallel to DC. So in other words these two lines are parallel right and they're telling us that ac is equals to dc so these two lines are equal in length so the first question says if cdf is equals to x name with reasons five other angles equals to x so let's note that ab and dc and DC are parallel lines and this means that we can actually form an F shape we know that if we form an F shape between parallel lines this gives us a pair of corresponding angles so if this is X it means that angle A here should also be equals to X so whenever we're dealing with corresponding angles we need to look for the f shape between parallel lines so the f shape is given in blue for the, in the given sketch so we can we can therefore say that angle a is equals to x and the reason is corresponding angles and this is because line segment a b is parallel to DC. You'll further notice that we have a tangent, we have a chord, and we have a triangle. So those are the necessary requirements to apply the ten chord theorem. So the angle that forms between the tangent and the chord is equal to the interior angle in the alternate segment. So this means that E2 should be equal to X. So we can say angle E2 is equals to X and this is because of the 10 chord theorem. So how you relate the two is you look for the angle between the chord and the tangent which is this angle here and you sort of look for the angle that is opposite. These two are adjacent, this one and this one. So the one that is opposite would be that one. So that's how you apply the 10 chord theorem. So guys, you'll also note that EC, line EC and line DC are equal in length. And if you form a triangle DCE, DCE, then you actually have yourself an isosceles triangle and we know for an isosceles triangle angles across equal sides are equal so it means if that is x d2 should also be equals to x so we can say d2 is equals to x and the reason is angles angles opposite equal sides so on the same note of parallel lines AB and DC are parallel lines we can actually make a connection between E1 and D2 we have our Z shape and we know alternate angles exist a pair of alternate angles exist when we see a Z shape so it means E1 should also equals to X so here we can say E1 is equals to X alternate angles and this is because AB is parallel to DC and finally if we consider if we consider 
a cyclic quad E D C B and we extend it you can see E1 is sort of like an external angle an exterior angle and we know the exterior angle of a cyclic quad is equals to the interior opposite angle so it means angle DCB should be equals to X so we can say angle DCB is equals to X and the reason is exterior angle of a cyclic quad so there are our five angles so now let's move on to the next question right guys so in the second part of the question they say prove that ABCD is a parallelogram so let's identify ABCD so ABCD A ABCD so we need to show that ABCD is a parallelogram we um we are we are shown that these two sides are parallel but that's not enough to that's not enough information to prove that ABCD is a parallelogram we need to find a way of proving that both pairs are parallel so we need to find we need to show that BC is parallel to AD one way to do so is to prove that angle A and angle B are, are co-interior angles because co-interior angles exist between parallel lines. So let's find angle B. So you will recall that E, D, C, B is a cyclic quad and we know that for cyclic quadrilaterals interior opposite angles are supplementary so if there is x we can find b so let's find b so we can say that angle b angle e let's just say angle e b c plus angle e d c e d c is equals to 180 degrees and this is because of this is because of opposite angles of a cyclic quad or more precisely interior opposite angles of a cyclic quad so now we can substitute so now we can substitute ebc ABC is what we're looking for. ABC plus X is equals to 180. So therefore, ABC is equals to 180 degrees minus X. So now we can say angle D A B plus angle EBC EBC is equals to angle DAB is X plus angle EBC is 180 minus X so the X's fall away so indeed the sum is up to 180 so now we can comfortably say that a, B, C, D is a parallelo, parallelogram because of co-interior angles and this is because A, D is parallel to B, C. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.